Okay, real quick. Uh, tech news. Tech or science? Where are we at this week? Ooh, we got lots of stuff in tech I and know, science. I know. I'm giddy as a little girl. All right. Uh, anybody for some Helium-3? Yes, sir! I don't know if you can buy stock in it, but there is a company called Moon Express. Now, Moon Express is one of 20 operations right now trying to get to the moon. But they're the first one to get permission from the FAA because you need permission from the FAA under the Outer Space Treaty, if you're an American company, to get the rights to leave orbit. The Outer Space Treaty. Signed in 1967. But in 2010, these guys start up in Florida and their goal is to, quote, develop moon resources, unquote. Uh, they're gonna send a robot uh, spacecraft to the moon this year and they want to get Helium-3. And for those of us that are uninitiated, Helium-3 is a light non-radioactive isotope of helium. Um, it's embedded in the moon's crust, probably from solar winds. It's also a byproduct on Earth of nuclear tests and disasters from uh, decomposing tritium. And now, requests and dedications to our operatives in the field. To operatives in Manhattan, dogs barking can't fly without umbrella. So Moon Express, let's see what happens. So once again, the nihilist in me is saying what happens when they crack the crust, the earth breaks apart, and we are destroyed by massive tidal waves and earthquakes from plate tectonics. Well, I think you can look at Thundar the Barbarian to see how you could cope with that kind of situation. Thundar! We, we have many different schematics worked up for when that happens. Yeah, but it's gonna screw up our moon base. Yeah. Uh, so there's that. We're not yeah, supposed to mention we have the $20 million prize already? They don't know um, right there. Once again, if we do that, then we have to declare ourselves as there. Therefore, then we're taxable. Then we would lose more than $20 in the taxes we'd spend. <clears throat> so by not winning the prize, we won the prize. All right. Well, what I'll do is I'll... Totally inform. defeats the whole secret part of the base. Well, what we could also do is um, bribe NASA because so far they have been editing pictures of our base out of um, their satellite imagery. So, um, you know, we could just be blackmailing Thank them. Thank you, Operative 21, for that. Yes. Good job on that, guys. Yes, yes. Just keeping secret secret since 1969. Love That's the right. moon. Oh, hey! Want to be famous? Be a part of the 2019 Big Detroit's Talent presented by the Secret Nerd Day. Winners will be announced on Secret Nerd Day's New Year's Spectacular 2019 with the grand champions being crowned at the end of the Battle Royale final. Now, I, I just want to get one more thing off my chest. I, I Here we are, Valentine's Day again, and um, I, I'm still mad about the whole Fifty Shades of Grey. I read part of the book, and it was a page turner, until I got to page 154, and that's when it all fell apart, um, when she saw the Red Room, and that's instantly when I realized that this Fifty Shades of Grey was not a story about someone's brave struggle with color blindness. It was actually a dirty book. Um, see. Didn't see that coming until she saw the red room, and then I was like, okay, now I'm done. There's no color blindness story here, um, so I'm off.